Well, the imaging is really what I fell in love with with the machine. Well, I think the image quality would be comparable to the digital mammograms that, are, that we use for our routine mammograms. The calcifications that I would not be able to see on our old machine, we could see relatively well on this machine. And that's usually the challenge when it comes to stereotactic breast biopsy is trying to see these subtle faint microcalcifications. And we need the best equipment in order to see these microcalcifications. And the imaging from a physician point of view is so much better with this machine than other stereotactic breast biopsy units that I'm able to confidently localize and subsequently biopsy subtle microcalcifications. Uh, the other advantage of this machine is that we're able to approach microcalcifications from just about any angle and position of the breast. So there's lesions that in the past were inferior that we were not able to access on our old machine that now I can go from an inferior approach either directly or using the lateral arm technique that we couldn't do before. So it's uh, better for the patient because you try to uh, biopsy something from the least possible distance from the skin. And sometimes an inferior lesion, it's best to biopsy it from an inferior approach. The Giotto can be used as a screening mammogram machine as well. Uh, so that there, when we have maybe two or three biopsies scheduled during the day, the rest of the day it's not being used. So by having it able to double as a screening room, we're able to have more mammograms done per day. So there is definitely advantage to that. I think the patient experience can be better because the doctor's confidence is greater for this procedure. I sometimes brag to the patient that we have this unit and our resolution is, is better than with other machines and that our confidence level of biopsying lesions is improved.